HIV is a manageable disease. But we encourage a lot of people that once they come and commence treatment, it's a manageable condition. It's just like any other disease where people are on the lifelong treatment like diabetes and many other conditions. On the clinical front, if someone's viral load is suppressed, the U equals U come in. U equals U means undetectable viral load equals untransmissible. So someone who is with HIV positive, who's been on drug for at least six months and whose viral load is suppressed will not transmit to their husbands, their wives and other partners. So it's a very exciting program. People are now understanding the importance of getting the drugs. They're taking their own health into their own hands. And it's a time where we, a lot of people are now knowing that uh, viral load can be done. And I want to commend the ACT UP for making it possible. We're taking it away from the laboratories and putting it in the facilities. And now we are leaping onto the next platform is to make sure our people who are on the drugs are safe. They're virally suppressed and transmission is prevented. In the past, we've seen challenges that people face uh, living far away from the health facilities. They come, they're being tested, and the result is not ready. And they go away, and they are lost to follow up. And then when they come back, they're very sick, and we cannot uh, save them. Initially, there were a lot of deaths, but now with the treatment, we are able to keep people living uh, longer. We are progressing in terms of new technologies and new ideas, new innovations. I uh, always embrace those innovations that are coming on board. It shows that if we do viral load testing to uh, the people living with HIV, we can have a big impact in terms of making sure they don't transmit the virus. Uh, doing the point of care testing can also help us to make sure that we test for resistance, and making sure we protect our new drugs so we don't risk our drug by people not knowing their viral load status and transmitting the virus to, which may be resistant to the population. 95% of people who are on the HIV drug needs to be virally suppressed. A very important uh, target in terms of HIV programs. I decided as the chair of the sub-technical working group to lead the group away from the usual normal ways of doing things and start looking at the opportunities out there that can bring on the results. And that's where I think the ECTA plan comes in. Yes, we can step out in, of our comfort zone and test new things like the GeneXpert platform to do viral load. We have uh, two lab uh, sites uh, established in the country. Uh, in Mosby is the Hydro uh, Clinic and in Mount Hagen is the uh, Tininga Clinic. Uh, we have a huge number of uh, people registered on treatment and access in those two centers. Uh, at this stage now, viral load testing uh, across the country is not favorable. So um, having to have active project in this space and uh, contributing immensely in terms of testing a lot of people who are on ART and measuring their viral load and providing this data to the, the national office uh, sort of like help the country to see how far we are in this space. Uh, it's a job well done in the HIV program which ECTAP has done to support for this service as a point of care in the clinic. The setup here is basically to provide this vital test to our clients when they come to the clinic to address the turnaround time, to give the results to the clinicians to help them to um, give counseling to the clients when they come. They know the importance of ART, getting their ART on time to um, suppress the HIV viral load. We have uh, clients initially tested positive they will be on ART for six months. And then they will come for viral load testing and to see if their viral load is suppressed. 
We also have them like coming annually for viral load as well. This service is also given to um, those who are defaulted from ART. If they have high viral load, they also come after they do the adherence counseling. They are used to going home and come back two weeks or three weeks or a month or to get their results. Uh, they are not used to waiting to get the results. So this is a new thing for them to see if the viral load is high, greater than a thousand, you know, they were like, okay, I think I haven't been drinking my medication properly. That's evidence for them. So they are like, they are not lying. The result is telling the truth. So the clinicians are feeling satisfied that they have something in front of them to console the clients. And like, as a technician, I am excited that the test that I am running is going straight to the clients for case management. So getting the result on time, same time, is a fantastic, like it's a great milestone for BNG as a whole. I think having this available is a major advantage for us. We need to know that these babies who are positive, they've got good viral suppression so that you know, the future life is being decided now in this first space of the year. So having to monitor them and ensuring that they get a good start in life uh, is, is a good thing for them for the rest of their lives. Some years back we never had to diagnose the children earlier. So now with the ECTA program we've seen some promising results for children who are you know, exposed to HIV positive mothers. With the ECTA program we are able to diagnose them early, at so least six weeks, and we can even do the viral load to children, which we never used to do that before. And ECTAP has brought that service to the children. We can uh, then plan the ongoing management of uh, children because we've been losing a lot more children to HIV because we never diagnose them early. If we, we diagnose them early, they are positive, then we can plan out the management to make sure that they are, get appropriate treatment and they come for review, they remain healthy, they can uh, grow up to be healthy children. My initial experience with the children with HIV was when working on the wards, I came across children who were having opportunistic infections, the advanced HIV, and finding out that they had been waiting for the results for their early infant diagnosis. So seeing the patients on the ward prompted me to put together a look at the data of turnaround time for early infant diagnosis and we found that it took a long time, you know, a median time of 21 weeks to come and many of these kids would have stopped their prophylaxis and then they were unprotected if they were HIV positive. So this pushed me to work with the ECTA program to see if we could get gene expertise so that we could have the test done at six weeks, identify these children who needed to be on ART early. So that's where we've sort of basically started and now we are looking at working in the overall space of the PPCT program where starting from pregnancy all the way to early infant diagnosis and having the mother-baby pairs tracked until we reach two years of age. The issue of the point of care testing for children is paramount. And I think all of us need to really be happy that technology is making it possible for us. We don't need to you know, keep people waiting because one of the biggest challenges, and I think the anecdotal evidence has shown that a lot of mothers, because the results are not coming back, the turnaround time is too long, we are losing them. And in this time and age in the 21st century, with technology, you know, readily available. I think we need to move move in those directions or move into those, you know, spaces quickly and try and bring in the results. Um, but long side long piginini, even long detecting whether HIV is stuff or not, and um, me plus a bleeding asylum go, and um, plant it time. By the time um, baby I'm developing plant the opportunistic infections now, plant it time me plus lose all, plant it time or lost to fall out. But now me plus bleeding, that's all just next door, and um, all testing uh, DPS or all, Test him straight uh, whether um, HIV is present or not. But uh, as long as you've been looking for positive, and now I'm testing treat, so I'm putting the marcin. But if I'm looking for the marcin, I'm walking inside the body, and I'm clear is that. But I'm looking for 
Now when this platform is start, and people machine, my goodness, and now we plan by putting the marathon, and now by you mean looking the how mama me give him marathon long baby, this plan by, and now we plan by starting, me looking by changing scenario long HIV can treatment. The clinicians, the technicians, we are overwhelmed with MPMA. So it's the first of its kind to have children below the age of 10 years to have access to viral load. Having NPMA on board to have a small amount of blood volume to test for their viral load is a great achievement and a great appreciation to act up, to take on this initiative, to have MPMA on board on the ground point of care at Well Baby Clinic for the pediatric population. The um, turnaround time for the early infant diagnosis and the viral load testing is sort of virtually within the same day. And with the early infant diagnosis, we've had uh, good response from parents. So having those MPMA results available and ensuring that we can be able to tailor the medication accordingly to, to the patient's needs. We can be able to have the patient come in, get the results, knows if need be the treatment is modified and adjusted at the same time they come instead of waiting for days or weeks. I commend every other institution that has come on board and the University of New South Wales the KB Institute, the Institute of Medical Research, and the leadership provided by National Department to bring everybody on board so that we can try and achieve this important indicator. And I think the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade Australia has been very good through its many uh, efforts and initiatives. And it's been really great to have this partnership with PNG IMR and, and have the ACTA program. So it's provided us with the resources that we would normally have not had. I think we are really doing a lot of things that are milestones in HIV care in this country with this partnership. Uh, ECTAP is a good uh, team that has like so many collaborators, uh, partners both on a national and international level because um, after all um, a team that works together goes for the greater good of our population in need. We have a very good partners, so they have funded us, us different, uh, with our machines here on the ground to help us with our viral load testing. And they have supported us also up for MPMA. So it has been a very good, like, a good relationship. I'm, I'm very happy with the uh, up. This was the first of uh, its kind that we were really able to engage and be involved in it. Through the experience from ECTAP uh, working in the uh, the clinics and the PHAs, I think they, you open up the minds of uh, uh, the clinicians as well as the, the program managers in those uh, PHAs, embracing those new innovations that, that will help us to respond to the HIV um, epidemic. So I, I'm happy that they are taking ownership of it. Those are the areas that uh, ECTAP has uh, really uh, strengthened in the, the circle of uh, uh, HIV program in the country, as well as internationally. Um, this is um, awesome, a kind of awesome natural programs to uh, HIV to get uh, some like struggles, long and challenges, long and stuff. Uh, so, but now some awesome, like helping long act up. Yeah, me plan looking um, uh, service provision uh, platform and some awesome kind of some awesome game and change. Now me plan privilege, but now one time this la viral load platform is stop now. I'm now me plan stop long, good la uh, area long. Uh, Advise him or give him a school talk long all uh, people living with HIV. We said stop long, Marcin long. So that all mass gives him Marcin good. Plant in nearly all the time now stop long, detectable level. ECTA is clearing the pathway for greater things to come. So the great initiatives accelerating and moving on with HIV testing, with HIV services at the clinic, in White House pediatric population, well baby clinic, antenatal clinic, labor ward, at the wards. ECTAP is pioneering and going towards breaking some of the old traditional, conventional um, things that we have on the ground with HIV. We must be open to change and we must welcome the input and I think uh, the important part here is you know, how do we uh, 
bring on research to inform. So I'm really proud of this particular program. But actually giving them a number to the picture is words cannot explain. They see that HIV is a manageable condition and it, it sort of strengthens the adherence. And I, I think that's, that's the most important aspect. People are so happy that they have, they have a second chance to live.